Hey guys, Brandon Brown here, physical therapist, CrossFit coach, and wellness coach with Get Your Fix Physical Therapy. And continuing on with the hip strengthening series, this is the last one in uh, the series. Still using a plank position. So last time we did side planks, this time we're going to do regular planks, but adding a little bit of hip movement to it. So it requires stability through the trunk, through that hip. Hey, Jason as well as a uh, movement of the other leg. So if you've been doing the other ones, you've been, get, been keeping up with the other ones, definitely continue um, with all of those. And then um, you can just kind of add this one into the mix as well. So I know I've given you a lot of them. What I would suggest is doing some of them one day, some of them the next day, or spreading them out over the span of a week. That way you don't feel like you're um, just spending all your time just with these because it's important to strengthen a lot of other things too as uh, I've mentioned over the time of all my lives. So what you're going to do, scoot back here, you're going to go into a plank position on your forearms. From that plank position, or from your, on your forearms, you're going to come on into that plank, you're going to maintain that position as you lift one leg up, squeezing at the butt, and the other leg up. The goal with that is keeping everything nice and straight. So keeping your body a perfectly straight line, keeping that torso nice and still, keeping your pelvis nice and still, not letting it rotate. So what you do not want to see, and I shouldn't do that, is that sort of like rotation or any sort of dropping. Keep everything nice and still the entire time. So what I would suggest with that is see what you can do to start out with. Uh, try five to ten on each side. If you can maintain good control that entire time, awesome. Keep with that number or maybe increase a little bit. If you notice after four or five you're starting to lose your form, you're starting to arch your back, something like that then that's where you stop and you rest and then you do some more. But try three to four sets of 10 to 15 up to 20 on each side and kind of see how those go. Uh, so like I said, integrate this into the, um, your, um, kind of your regimen on a daily basis along with the other ones, alternating days on the different exercises. That way you can kind of spread them out over the span of a week. If you have any questions or comments on this, definitely post those below. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have and um, love to see how you guys are doing with these. So definitely comment on here with that. And as usual, if you have anything specific to um, ask me, feel free to reach out to me directly through Messenger. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. And feel free to hop in any of my Facebook groups that I help out with. I have a running one, a CrossFit one, and a nutrition one. You can find those links in the description to this video. So. Hope you're all having an amazing Monday, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, have a good one, guys. Bye.